weeks from today, thousands of runners from all over the world will compete for a dream and cross the Boston Marathon finish line. Among them, a two-time cancer survivor who's running for Dana-Farber. And as WBZ's Paula Evans shows us tonight, it's a woman who knows firsthand what fundraising dollars can do. You're so fast! When we first met Hillary Hall 10 years ago, she was 15 years removed from a pediatric leukemia diagnosis and enjoying life as a young mom, a blessing she thought was impossible after her cancer treatment. Fast forward, Sun Gus is now 12 and is often mom's companion on her training runs. But Gus isn't Hillary's only miracle child. We tried for six months and ultimately at the end of that period they said just be happy that you have a healthy child and you know enjoy him. And I believe it was one month later that we found out that I was pregnant, and this time pregnant with twins. Hillary's stem cell transplant as a child left her susceptible to preterm labor, and Adelaide and Eleanor were born at just 27 weeks, weighing a little over two pounds apiece. Today, they're healthy and happy nine-year-olds. Those are also little fighters in our family, which <laughs> maybe, maybe it's in the genes or something. Hillary would need to draw on that fighting spirit again when a routine checkup in 2014 turned out to be not so routine. Going into that, it felt like it was just another false alarm. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't. She was diagnosed with low-grade breast cancer, possibly the result of the radiation she'd received as a child. But she found the entire experience very different the second time around. I could probably count it on the on my fingers, you know, how many times I thought about potentially dying from my leukemia. As an adult, having kids. I don't know how many times I thought about, you know, planning and, and what I needed to start getting in line just in case things didn't work out well. It required a double mastectomy, but Hillary beat cancer a second time. This is her ninth year running for the Dana-Farber team, and she knows more than most how important these fundraising efforts are. I know that I'm going to get from Hopkinton to uh, the finish line because of how important what we're doing is. I get there with hundreds probably of names on my back at this point of all the people that I'm running for, either people that I know or knew or people that uh, I'm somehow connected to. She looks forward to seeing her family at the finish line and the experience of being back out on that historic course with the runners and the crowds. For anyone who, who has ever gone to the marathon, it really becomes this celebration of the human spirit, but just being around that community and to meet new people and hear their stories and uh, just be part of something that's, that's bigger even than the marathon, which is hard to believe. What an extraordinary person. WBZ is proud to be your Boston Marathon station. We're the only local station bringing you live wire-to-wire -wire coverage of this historic race. The 125th running is Monday, October 11th. David and Lisa. Wow, and Hillary really embodies the spirit of that race. She is Boston strong. That picture of her making the muscle is perfect because she's basically a superhero. She is tough. And so are her kids. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>